we've gotten a lot of questions this winter about fungicides and which ones are different, which ones should we be using or shouldn't we be using. We wanted to just separate them a little bit by the mode of action, so that's what our topic is today. Well, there are some new fungicides hitting the market or some new names out there, and it gets everybody a little bit nervous. Okay, now there's this, this, and this I have to choose from instead of just headline, which a lot of farmers said, I, I don't even know what a fungicide is. I just need some headline for my disease control. So yep. obviously they've done a pretty good job marketing their product. <laughs> they have, and headline is the first group that we'll talk about called the strobal urines. The strobal urines are going to consist of headline, Quadris, those are the main two that we've got out there on the market. The thing with strobal urines, they are much better at preventing disease than from curing disease. Not that any fungicide is great at curing disease, but the strobal urines are much better at preventing disease. They maybe have a little bit longer residual. The concern with strobal urines is that resistance can build up fairly soon. So typically, we do not want you spraying a strobal urine followed by a strobal urine followed by strobal urine in a crop, pretty soon diseases are going to become tolerant or even resistant. So let's move on to the next group, triazoles. Well, triazoles are another family of fungicides, and they're known as being curative fungicides. And I think it's kind of funny, too, because when you think about curing a problem, if you go out and spray Roundup on weeds, they can be big weeds, no problem. We can cure that real fast. But when it comes to disease issues, you don't really cure things up. You can clean up, you know, things that are just getting started. But if you've got a field that's just terribly loaded with disease, you don't have a huge hope of cleaning that up completely. So don't get caught up in this curative versus preventative like you talked about the strobal urines. There is a little bit of preventative action with the triazole family too. There's some preventative, maybe not as long a residual as Okay, as let's the put it this way. They're all terrible at curative action. <laughs> Easy enough. So yes, the strobal urines uh, are a little better at preventative. The triazole is a little better at curative, but they're really not curative at all. So don't buy into this thing that, oh, they're going to cure any disease. It does not work that way. You've got to spray every fungicide before you have a real problem. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Okay, now, let's talk about some of the examples here of the triazoles. We've got products like Folicure and Domark and Punch and Tilt. There's quite a few different ones in that triazole family. They are a little bit different than the strobal urines. So for example, this year, Products like Punch and Domark that are triazoles are going to market against Headline and Quadris in soybeans and say that we don't have green stems. And yes, we have seen that difference. When you spray Headline and Quadris, it does a great job controlling the disease. You have yield increase, but at the end of the season when you're harvesting, you have some green stems. We've had that problem even on our farm. With the triazoles, it doesn't seem like we do as much. The last family is Chlorothalonils. It's an old family. It's been out for a long time. There isn't a lot of resistance to that family. That's good. The downside is it's not not nearly as good a chemistry as what you've got with strobal urines yep. or triazoles. So a product like Bravo would fall in the chlorothalonil family. Well, there's going to be a lot of fungicide to use this year because diseases were an issue and plant health benefits have been real positive in a number of crops. So before you use your products, make sure you find out what family they're in and that it's the right one for the task and at hand. And be sure to rotate your different families as you go through the season to help prevent disease resistance. Well, one thing that hasn't become resistant to most herbicides out there is our Weed of the Week. So fortunately, we can control it fairly easily. We'll tell you how to do it coming up next.